If you would like this hat or other merch for yourself, please check out my new store at Teespring. Find it in the description down below. Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Baldur's Gate 3. We just brought Will on and uh, we haven't been able to really see what he can do in battle yet, but we're gonna, we're gonna see eventually. Um, right now we're kind of in a section of the game that's going to be a lot more of the social parts of D&D. Um, and so it's just going to be a lot of ability checks, talking to people and figuring things out. So we're going to continue that a little bit more today and see where we get. This is boring. We should train against real goblins. <laughs> Kid. Next time the goblins Don't be dumb. Come, I'll be ready. Don't push it, kid. If you see trouble, then run. Only fight if you have to. You tell him, Will. Oh. Uh. Right. Uh, go for the heart. One day I'll catch a break. Keep your blades up, children. Show me again. Hmm. He stares right past you as if you're invisible or boring. Are you alright? Mm hmm. Anything else on your mind? Hmm. He's still staring right past you. Turn around to see what he's looking you at. You see nothing out of the ordinary. As you turn back, the child slips between the rocks. Search the rocks for an opening. Well, that wasn't so good, was it? You look the rocks over, but find no sign of a way through. Let's have a look. Use that too. Your entire body. That's one way to do it, I guess. No. Don't take your eyes off my hands. Whoa. <clears throat> Metallic gloves. Look at that. Okay, medium armor. I think Shadowheart can do medium. Whatever comes. Ready. So why don't you pick those up? Okay, leather gloves. I mean, they don't have any bonus, so it's not really any need for them necessarily. But these ones at least come with a saving throw. Sharp as ever. Oh yeah, you've got those now. Seek and you, shall find you want some le leather gloves? There you go, dude. They offer you nothing, but shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. They're cool gloves, so can't keep me out. Okay, take every advantage we can get. This one's a high difficulty class, and we only have two thieves' tools. Ugh. All right, missing Asterion right now. Oh my gosh! Why? Why why do we get so many critical failures? You can do that. Ah. The waiting's getting to me. If you let your place not run for it. Oh, I'm glad we got it at least. I mean, I used an inspiration point for that, so... And there's probably nothing good in it. Uh, there's five gold in there! It was not worth it. It was not worth the thieves' tools and an inspiration point. Seems like a good moment to talk. Oh, um, I... I don't have any money or anything to sell. My p partner does that. What's your side of the business? What? Um... I'm the guard? So... Steal anything! I'm watching you. All right, Sylphie. Don't fuck with Sylphie. He'll mess you up. Oh, hey, you're one of those drow, right? I heard stories about you. How you all live underground and steal kids away. Yeah, just like that. 
You're actually thinking of the wolf sworn. Should you see a pair of red eyes? Run. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, hey, would you like to see something fun? Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. It's a fancy trick. You haven't seen anything yet, lady. Go on. Take the ring and watch your fortune change. Sleight of hand. Mimic his trick and make the ring disappear. Yeah. Hell yeah. Weeping, bleeding hells. Okay, maybe you don't need extra luck. <laughs> but since you're already holding the thing, call it. Heads or tails? Heads. Heads it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheat too. Interested? Yeah, I think you're I think you're just uh pulling one over on me. This is just part of your sales pitch. Thanks for the free ring. Hey, hold on, you gotta pay for that. <laughs> Alright, fine, you can have it back. What do you have for sale though? You got it. One sec. I could have been cruel, but That's what I got. What did we perceive though? That's the second perception check we've succeeded, and I don't even know what we perceived. Kind of want that. It's kind of all I want. All right, there really should be a button to add all wares. Is there really not one other than in trade? Like, there absolutely should be a button for during barter to just add the wares. I don't understand why they drew the line there. Um, don't need you. And balance the rest, 25 gold. There we go. You bought... You suddenly feel something moving against your back and turn. Ooh, trying to rob me. That's their game, isn't it? Observe her silently. Maybe these are just crocodile tears. What a random one to get a natural 20 on. Critical success. She's trembling. The tears streaming down her cheeks are indeed real. I mean, she got caught, so... Oh, jeez, I'm not gonna lunge at her. You didn't even manage to get anything from me, so relax, I won't get angry. I can't do this anymore, Mattis. I'm sorry. Yeah. So she distracts while the other one robs. You have anything uh, to say? Hey, you here to trade or? Your partner's a thief and I think you know it. Yeah, I know. I was standing right here telling her to rob you. <laughs> I want an apology from her. Want all you want. She's somewhere safe and staying that way. Look, you caught her. Good for you. You want a chump like everyone else around her. Now, do me a favor. Make room for the chumps. Hmm. Okay. Think you could stand back a ways, pal? I'm fishing for chumps here. All right, so we managed not to get robbed. I think... I think every time I've played Early Access, I've actually been robbed. So I wonder... Hmm. That might be worth a look. OK. 
Okay, can't use that. And we failed to check on the other hole. Time to press ahead. There is work to do. Okay, nobody else can check it. All right, so we just failed that check. Don't waste a step. I think we've done what we can do there then. Please, let's through. Let my daughter go right now. She's a thief, hell spawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back. Oh, let me through, Ragrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat out. <gasps> damn. I can I can actually not do that because I can't turn into a bear because we didn't take the moon one. <laughs> I can turn into other things though. Um, all right, who took whose daughter? Was that you? We need to get Arabella out now. You heard the guards. They're waiting on Corker to give word. I'd sooner trek through the nine hells than trust that snake. Ugh. Why are the druids holding your daughter? Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Oh, it's all my fault. I told her I wish the wretched thing would just disappear, or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. Horrifying. We should check on the girl. Yeah, I don't see any reason not to. She's just a child. I think they're overreacting. I'll talk to them. Thank you. They won't give us the time of day. Hurry! I'm at the end of my tether as is. Can't take this waiting. You all the damn rituals you want. Lives are at stake. And the cowards only care about their bloody rituals. These things over. We could help each other. Fight the goblins together. Instead, these fools are trying to chase us away. Those dirt kissers would let us die for the sake of their bloody grove. I smell. Mm. Yeah, a lot of tensions between these two, huh? Chance. You step back. We'll not tolerate drow in here. Um, can you not see that? Can I not? Can I not? Oh. I thought that being a druid would count for something, but. Right here. I am a druid first, drow second. Allow me to enter and pay my respects. Druid or not, you're still an outsider to this place. Entry is forbidden. A moment, Giona. What? Why would she allow one of them? I... I suppose so. You! Apparently Corga wants to see you. Go ahead, but a word of warning. One wrong move, and every single animal here will tear you apart. Um, not if I put on animal friendship and get them on my side first, bitch. I guess I don't have that one prepared right now, but... <laughs> now, when a druid is in, um... In their animal form... Can you talk to them normally, or do you still need speak with animals to talk to them? I actually don't know. And I can't really check right now because we have speak with animals active right now, so. Your welcome can be easily withdrawn, outsider. Respect our grove, or face our claws. You don't gotta be so unpleasant. I'm watching you, Drow. We all are. Uh, hi, Folo. Do my eyes deceive me? A drow here. A bard Forgive talking to a bear. It's rare to find your kind above ground. Rare and intriguing on a day already packed with intrigue. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came, you saw them up close. A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. All right, 
fine. Ask your questions. Glory. Now then. How would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities. You search your mind successfully. We're doing great on these passive checks. Details of goblin behavior. We can't get any of the freaking lock picks though. <laughs> Give an exact description. Goblins were of a rare jam colored hue and wielded magic blowguns. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Well, I didn't see any of that, and there definitely wasn't a dragon, but, uh. Yeah, there wasn't any dragon. Witnesses failed to <laughs> notice the obvious dragon. <laughs> Bro. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? I was there and you weren't, bro. They called it out like a war cry. Actually, I don't even remember if they did. We're going to say they did. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh, curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one. A captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. What a name. The scandal. Magubliet. Goblin superstition not worth the ink and parchment. Ah, but is superstition all? These goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. Um, hold on, wait. A better conversation earlier? Why a dragon? My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Me. Fair enough. <laughs> Anything else? I must prepare to travel. Good day, my friend. I don't know, man. I I'd, I'd like to tell you not to go and visit where goblins are. Um they're not they're not the most level-headed people. To the goblins camped nearby, of course. I've been tracing their doings with great care. Whoever this absolute they're worshipping might be, I'll be the first to write about it. All right. It's your funeral, bro. Just a moment. This man is recording my story. I am far from home. <laughs> As the colorful man starts scribbling, the bear sneaks a quick look at the page. Can you read? His brow furrows. Incomprehensible squiggles surround a crude sketch. A bear disemboweling a clutch of tieflings. <laughs> what is wrong with you, dude? What the hell, Volo? Come on. All the druids can understand me. You can. Why can't the man with the pen? I traveled a long way. <laughs> the man nods thoughtfully and adds another dismembered limb to his sketch. Oh my gosh. So this is an actual bear. This is not a druid. Yeah, he's, he's just a level three bear. Come on. All the druids can understand. I. The man. Okay, I wanted to see if there was another follow up. Okay. <laughs> okay, plaque over here. Old friend, what can you tell me about this place? The blade no. is at your calling. Uh, I guess we can talk to him. How does the Blade of Frontiers end up chasing a devil in the hells? Carlax fires raged in Baldur's Gate before she escaped to Avernus. As my source told it, and she was planning to return. One of the archdevil Zariel's own, Chaos Incarnate, a devil with pure fire for a heart. I made my way to Avernus to stop her. She fled from my reach, even climbed aboard the Mind Flayer ship as it screeched through the hells. I followed in close pursuit. I can't bear to imagine the lives Karlak might be taking, the damage she might be doing.
It's not exactly easy to journey to the hells from the Sword Coast. How did you manage it? A powerful friend with a keen interest in... privacy. I'm sworn to say no more. Okay, let's move on to other matters then. All right. Anything more we should discuss? How did you come to be the Blade of Frontiers? My father once said, One does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. So it was for me. I was hunting near the Cloakwood when I heard it. A child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields flanked by goblins. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. I don't remember much of the battle, but I remember drying the boy's tears after. What became of the boy, I wonder? I left him with his uncles. Five years on and he's flourishing. If only every child was so lucky. Wonderful I'd run into that the kid. Ones I could never save. Whose cries I never heard. In the boy's tears, I finally saw the suffering wrought by the villains of the wild. The frontiers demanded a blade. And so I heeded. And before that? Baldur's Gate, born and raised. The only son of a single father. He wanted one life for me. I chose another. We haven't spoken since I left the city. A classic drama. <laughs> a staunch father and his rebellious son. Better heard from the bard's lips than mine. Okay, that's definitely a loaded gun. We're gonna meet his dad when we get to Baldur's Gate, there's no doubt. Uh, I've noticed your stone eye. Did you lose it in battle? A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone, carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah. But that story is reserved for lifetime friends and karma days. By all means. Anything more we should discuss? I don't suppose you've come across an expert healer in your travels? <laughs> I've come to know a fair few village clerics, but none with the skill to pull these worms from our heads. From what I understand, there's a healer called Nettie in the grove. Perhaps she's got the talent. We should pay her a visit. Okay. What's up, buddy? He didn't come back, did he? His smell is gone. He's gone. Who are you talking about, big, big guy? Master, he left with the weaponed two legs. He said he'd be back. But I can smell them, the weaponed ones, and I cannot smell him. He's not coming back. Don't worry. He, he'll probably be back, right? No, <laughs> the woods have gone dark. There's too many predators lately, even for Master. All right. Well, I hope for your all your sakes that you're wrong. He might be back. Um, let's see. We come on, we can do it. There we go. No traps, please. Ooh. Okay. Some decent money. We like it. And a silver ingot. Spell, but altered somehow. 
Okay, the idol of Sylvanas. Yeah, I'm assuming touching that is going to piss people off according to that red hand. This is part of their ritual. Complexum tuum abtera ortum ad nostifera. Complexum tuum abtera ortum ad nostifera. I'm Sleepy bear named Tuffet. Could you move just a little bit? I kind of need to use the elevator. <sighs> okay. <laughs> now, many of this stuff probably plays out differently, like quite a bit differently, if um, if we didn't have speak to animal. Oh, and this is where the uh, where timber is. Don't worry, buddy. The tree's all yours. We'll stay on the ground. Shh! I'm concentrating. A key. I want that. Good. Is the coin in the middle? Ah, uh, stop fussing. It looks fine. No, it's leaning too much <laughs> to the left. Uh, yeah, that's it. Um, I want that key. I want that key. Topaz, can I have that key? Yes. Yes. This is perfect. Oh, it seems wrong. I don't know what that key's for, even. Could be for that chest up there that I couldn't open, that I got that nat one on. I'm not mad about that. You're mad about that. I'm fine. I didn't see you talking to a bird, but we're just gonna act like I did see this. What are you? What were you saying to that bird? The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. Well then. Come now. Surely a fellow druid is entitled to know. I. Forgive me. My love for my brethren is strong, but trust. It is delicate. More follow Korga every day. They are afraid, and she offers a simple solution. Eject the refugees, and we will be safe. Okay, so Halson used to be in charge. Now Kaga's in charge, and she seems to be a little bit colder than him. Sounds like she has to be stopped. How would we do that if we were interested in doing that? Um, we kind of want to stop this ritual, for one, so... A druid and an outsider! We can do nothing without turning the others against us. Only Master Hulsin can stop this. I pray my bird returns with news of him. Okay. If not, so you send the bird to look for, for him. People. I hear a ritual can protect the grove. Are you helping to prepare it? I would prefer not to. But if Master Hulsin does not return, Korga will give the order. And my voice will not matter. Interesting. You can attack somebody in the middle of dialogue with this? Um, you've got a trade menu, too. She's got four gold. We're good. Hey, Tusk. <gasps> I thought you were housing. The boar prances around, haunches clenching and unclenching impatiently. Where's housing? Promise me a mate. <laughs> oh dear. Hostess, 
Nope, can't turn into a hog. I was going to see if there was going to be some kind of funny dialogue I could get into if I turned into a pig. Okay, more plaques, just things for Sylvanas. Emerald Grove. Madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Damn, she's cold. She's just a kid, man. Thief? Poison? What's this girl's actual crime? Girl? You mean parasite? Bit strong? She eats our food, drinks our water then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. Dude. She's cold. She's way out of line. Okay. Um, all right. Release her. I'll see that she stays out of trouble. A seed nobly sown renders the sweetest fruit. Be noble, set her free. Man, this this is this is one where I might want to detect thoughts. Okay, so it comes with a, a roll as well. Honestly, that makes sense. Okay, intelligence is not in our favor. It's a relatively high roll. Not the highest I've ever seen. Oh. We needed one more. You intrude on the circle. You intrude on my mind. Oh, they can detect that? More proof that outsiders must never be trusted. Oh, that's really the bad. The hiss of approval reveals its intentions. Should the child struggle? It is poised to strike. Okay, that is bad. Let the child go so she can spread word to the others of your might. Okay, we'll play into her little power dynamic here a little bit. Oh, shit, we get advantage. I wonder what's giving us advantage there. Does it say? Maybe because we're a druid, or because we chose something that she, um, would generally like? Okay. You roll two, and you take the higher, in case you weren't sure what advantage did. Oh, man, that, that made me nervous. When I found, like, oof. Alright, so maybe I should have read Detect Thoughts a little bit closer. Um, we also need to see if that took our um, spell slot. It feasibly should have. What is this? I need to figure out what that is. Yes. She is more valuable out there than in here. Sif, sif, Tila to me. Oh, man, that was tense. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. <laughs> it hurts. Whoa, what? Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin was... Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Teela pierce it. Wait a minute. I wonder if she used something that gave us that advantage. What happened there? What was that, Shadowheart? I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. Yes, please. It's... Just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. Huh. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least. In case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just... something I have to live with. How badly does it hurt? Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. 
Are you sure it's not connected to the tadpoles? Positive. You can trust me on that. Okay. Take your word for it. Turn to other matters. Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Why don't we take a little break, hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest? Gives me a chance to talk to you about something. Well, rather important. Uh, all right, go ahead. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? Hmm? Survived some perils, overcame some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. The way you diffused the tension between Zevlor and Aradin. The way you got Korga to release the girl. In short, I've grown to trust you. Okay, well, that's gratifying. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul. Except for my cat. <laughs> you see, I have this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. What kind of condition? The specifics are rather personal, but suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with. Though not without some effort. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. So your illness causes you to consume raw magic? I'm going to need some more details. I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Just trust me when I say it's all of vital importance. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, since before we were abducted. It's only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital. Dare I say it? Critical. Hmm. Where do you suggest we find artifact the artifacts you need? We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. You know for yourself how hard one such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. There'll be danger involved, or great cost. Honestly, it sounds kind of terrible. I don't see much of an upside to this for me. Then I suggest you look closer. <laughs> I mean, a wizard like me around is quite the boon when facing the perils that stalk these lands. It'd be far harder for me to assist you if I can barely stand upright. Please, trust me. Your help could be the difference between life and death. Okay, so we can use the Illithid. Very well, I'll do my best to get you what you need. <laughs> Thank you. I see my trust in you was not misplaced. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic-infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession. Primed for the moment the need arises. I hope I can count on you. Okay. So I think it said one of those items. Did it say on this? Not sure. Also, where's that book? That weird book might be one of those items. I don't want blood on my hands. We have the um, I don't know where it so is. To kill a bunch of innocents. I don't want to kill anyone. But I won't let this grove be harmed. It's not that one. That one. I wonder if that is a magical item. That might be able to be it. <laughs> this one right here. Gloves of power. Gotcha.
You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. I can't believe she'd go that far. She seems dangerous, that Kaga. Well seen. Well spotted. We've let a snake replace our leader. Damn. You're clearly not happy with her. Kaga seems happy to rule the roost. Who's your real leader? Master Halsin. Perhaps Goblin Court. Perhaps dead. He'd set Mistress Korga back in line. Hold her to task. Stop this damned ritual. More will die if the rite is finished. So many more. Sent into a world gone mad. If no one's looking for Halsin, I could do it. Would you? I would give anything to see Halsin return home. No need to fret. I'll do everything I can to find him. Sylvanas's blessing upon you, and my gratitude as well. Halsin is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. Okay. I wish I could offer more assistance. For now, I must keep a close watch on Gorga. Yeah, somebody's got to rein her in. Both you and Halsin again soon. She's wild. She's crazy. Come so I suppose you've noticed I'm not terribly fond of wolves. I They're did not. Even as predators with fangs like daggers. It's hardly an irrational fear to harbor. You've been decent to me so far. Maybe if you can, don't make me face any more of them. At least, not alone. Hmm, interesting. I wonder if she would actually have, like, disadvantage or something if uh, we asked her to attack a wolf. Um, everyone's got their own fears. I won't judge yours. I wonder if she'd have an effect if I turned into a wolf. I can literally turn into a wolf. Really? Some might think it makes me a liability. Maybe that's what I like about you. You're different. Okay. Many, many updates here. We saved Arabella. She ran to her parents. We should probably follow that up. Yeah. Deep-seated fear of wolves. Ridiculous. On a mission to kill Carlock. She's a child. A devil child. One who tried to steal from us. Okay. Yet she failed. That's what matters. Uh, hey girl, you need to chill. A deep elf. In our grove. On this day. A sign. Or rather, a gift. Who better to understand a watchful brood mother than a beloved child of Loth? Huh. Beloved child of Loth. You've got some evil alignment, don't you? I'm Seldarine. I have no love for the Queen of Spiders. Indeed. But you do exhibit a talent for self-preservation. A viper bears her fangs defending her brood. Is it not her nature to strike at invaders? No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm. Free of intruders. Is this right druidic? I have never witnessed such magic. The right of thorns. It is the tree father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. That sounds Our really unpleasant. Come into focus. The rite of thorns is a rare practice, outlawed in most circles. Yeah. Causing more harm than it eases. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. You cast out the guiltless. You shame your order. 
A disease of the flower must not reach the root. Pluck the petals, sever the branch if you must, but cut out the rot before it infects the whole of the wood. Teachings of the Tree Father. Do you agree? Mm, you twist it. Now look, that's an option. Words you have twisted to justify your cruelty. Words I heed to the letter, to keep my brood safe. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Alright, well, we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to explore all options with finding Halson before we decide on that, but... If, uh, if that all failed, I, I would offer to help Zevlor over just leaving them to this woman. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander Rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. Forever shrouded? Consider They'd be stuck the in here forever. A rare art plucked from illicit domains. Like, it seems like it would... It creates like a dome of thorns. Like, they would have no sunlight. Think back to your teachings. What are the rites perils? When the prayer ends, vines curl upwards from the earth, and thorns sprout forth. Those within are isolated, and those without... Rejected. Isolation breeds violence. Few circles survive it. Yeah, it would there be horrible. To Korga's tale. The Grove must hide her secrets. Welcome to the Thunderdome, right? Jesus. Can I talk to you? You see a sharp intelligence behind its eyes. Is it a familiar or another druid enjoying their wild shape? Okay, yeah, guess no answers will be had. Please leave. Our hospitality has limits, and they were crossed long ago. Why, because I stepped on your table? <laughs> what will the tieflings want next? Letting the hell child go was a mistake. Uh, another stranger come to vex me. What will you do? Hunt me? Grab my tail? Shout until my head hurts? I just wanted to give you my smell. I'll leave you be. No, oh, wait. You smell fresh. Safe. You can stay if you must. Okay. All right, before we go further in, I do want to go back and uh, talk to the parents of Arabella. I am glad nothing bad happened to that girl. I know for a fact that Alas, bad things can and do happen to her in some instances. You ever scare me like that again, and... I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. This could have ended pretty badly. You need to keep her in line from now on. The Nine Hells will sooner freeze over. But we'll try. Folk Hero Snake Whisper. Okay, got another inspiration point. Um, okay, you move. Arabella is safe. Her parents are grateful for our intervention. Ooh, Dancing Lights. An evocation cantrip. Grants the wearer the ability to cast Dancing Lights. Another item Gale can absorb. I don't care what her mom says. Stupid and reckless. What am I to do? 
Maybe I'll let you wear that. You've got the speak with dead one. Wits and blades always sharp. Okay. And then you have dancing lights. Got to press on. Still breathing, despite everything. Should mind my step. Come, boy. It's all right. All right, can I have her interact with the wolf? I'm just interested in seeing what'll happen if I try this. No harm in a little conversation. <laughs> you good? Disadvantage. Reason Shadow Heart. Overcome your fear, girl. Okay. Ooh, she got it. Oh, she got it. The wolf's fur bristles. I'm proud of you, girl. He wants to jump, wants to bite. His eyes dart back and forth as he sniffs the air. He can't see them anymore, but he can smell them. Many, many strangers. Shh, it's all right. The wolf bears his teeth. He doesn't take orders from you. He would chase you down if not for his master. Okay, and wolves don't seem to like her Never much either. Moment. Moving ahead. Sure, we'll learn more about that. Open up. Okay, I want to be very careful not to accidentally steal something. And there is Nettie. Wounded bird. Maybe I need more pockets. All right, this is the healer we've heard about. I see you. Just give me a moment. Okay, we'll wait. This medicatrix. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now what? Trow. Last time I saw one of you folk, he tried to slit me open. I hope you're more agreeable. Where did you see another drow? That's neither here nor there. Look, you obviously want something. What is it? Fine, we'll get to the uh, point. I need help right now. Just be glad my bedside manner's better than yours. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. You mean the spot where a, uh, a, a parasite worm climbed in through my eyelids and went behind my eyes and is now somewhere in my brain? More than tired. Something crawled into that eye. Crawled in? Some sort of bug? Or... Wait, did it look like a tadpole? But from your worst nightmare? All slime, teeth, and tentacles? You know of them. Can you help? I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow Tell me. Shall I ask? I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. Please. I'm resting. Something took a chunk out of you. What happened? The bird says nothing. Trying to rest. Yeah, no. Not doing that. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to disturb you. The bird says nothing. Only the sound of its labored breath fills the silence. Okay, I think that was a bug. <laughs> Don't worry about him on the table. I'm not in the habit of killing Drow. He attacked Master Halson and I in the woods, leading a pack of goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. 
So he and I have the same kind of parasite? Seems so. Gave Master Halson a right start. Yeah, these, these parasites aren't like the normal ones. They do it different. And we don't really know why. It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. I pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. Alright. Let's see what we can do. What's that plant? Will it help? It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? Looking closer, you recognize the branch. And it's no druidic cure. She's holding Kalimvor's kiss. A briar from the Dale lands. And a deadly poison. How about you put that briar down and we'll, uh, we'll talk about this. I want to help you. But I can't unless you work with me. So, has anything unusual happened to you? I fell from a ship in the sky, but something caught me. It saved my life. Protected from on high. Sounds like the drow. Master Halson said he was tougher than he had any right to be. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. On a Mind Flayer ship, I was kidnapped and infected. A Mind Flayer ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, what the hell was going on back there? You've that door's going wild. Me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. Okay, she put it away. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. Honestly, it would be the right thing to do, all things considered. All right, hand it over. Swear it. I swear. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. So what do you mean by we should be changing? Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flayer is born. The thing in your skull, though, it's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. That's good news, question mark? Could be, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna, and I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. It's a lot of good information, though. You think he's still alive? I think so. I hope so. I've sent birds to find him, but they can't get close without goblins trying to shoot them down. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Alright. I'll find Halson. Thank you. 
It would mean everything to the groom. It's all to leading me, to Halson right now. I wish I could tell you more, but only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna, and Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there, and if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. All right, she turned out all right. Got a little dicey there for a sec. Master Halson? Do you know where he went? He and the adventurers were headed to the ruined temple in the west. Okay, Master we know. Halson studied that drow for days, and he was sure something at the temple could help his research. I'm praying he was right. Okay. What is that? There's something in that vessel. Take a closer look. Coat your active weapon with toxin that deals an additional 1 to 8 poison damage. How long does it last? Hmm, I'll we'll have to figure that out. Okay, so it was a, um, an alchemy item. Speak with dead. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Your name and house now. Ned Sieranis of the Absolute. There is no house of the absolute. No houses. All equal in her love. It's like a cult. And all of it seems to be also connected with these parasites too, which are not normal mind flayer parasites. Where did you get your tadpole? The corpse remains silent. It doesn't understand the question. How many drawer out there? Minthara. Back at camp. So just one. Where did you start following the absolute? Moonrise Towers. Initiation. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. But damn, is it a useful spell. Okay. Well, this is where we're going to end this episode. So, thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters. Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith. Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Chris Smith, Vlada 101, Andy Ford, The Blue Electric Cat, Angel Mejia, Black Mamba 90, and Kyle Schluter. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.